Howdy folks, this is Misha here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video uh, for those of you Toontown Rewritten players, or for those of you who want to get into Toontown Rewritten. This is going to be a couple essential things you need when you start playing Toontown Rewritten. So, starting off the bat here, I'm just going to introduce myself. This is a smaller tune I have, and this is a tune I've been working on recently. Um, so it's kind of, you know, a bit easier for me to get back into the groove of telling you guys a couple key things that might help you in your grind on Toontown Rewritten. So, number one, what you need to play Toontown Rewritten. So, obviously you're going to need a computer that can run the game, you know, the game doesn't require that much in terms of specification. It's a bit unoptimized as it is a fan uh, recreated version of Toontown Online uh, from Disney. But it shouldn't be too difficult. So moving on to the actual number one, you're going to need patience. Lots and lots and lots of patience. I say this for a couple of reasons, which I'm going to point out now. So opening our sticker book here, we're going to go to gags. The thing is, all gag trees here go up to 10,000 reputation. Now. Uh, you know, in certain circumstances, that doesn't seem like much. You can get up to like 300 per uh, building, per factory, you know, everything like that. But in the long scheme of things, this is going to take a while. Especially when starting from scratch with no one to help you. So, following that, you really want to be patient with grinding your gags. Although, you know, if you have the time and find people to do such with... Uh, it's always good to, you know, put some time into grinding your gags, especially throw and squirt right off the bat. Uh, as you can see, I've gotten up to tier 4 gags in both throw and squirt, although my throw does need to be a bit higher for Minnie's Melody Land yet. Um, but my sound is very low, my drop is basically fresh, I just got out of Donald's dock. Yeah. Second part of patience is really going to be following tune tasks. Some of these tasks are grueling. They will take you time and they will take you a lot of effort to sit there and grind and grind and grind. There is a task right at the end of Donald's Dreamland that makes you do 100 five-story buildings. For those of you who aren't familiar with buildings, you have five levels per building in the case of the quest or the uh, tune task and you have to defeat that a hundred times. Now, the problem with this being, a lot of times these buildings have the highest tiers of COGS and would typically give you a run for your money if you are soloing them. But yeah, be very patient with tune tasks. There's really no good way, unless you have a higher tune there to help you, to get through these tasks by just being patient and taking your time with doing these. They'll come naturally and they'll, you know, they'll slowly help you become that higher tune to be able to help others or help yourself in certain methods. Another um, bit of patience that you need for Toontown is going to be laugh grinding. So after you hit a certain point in your laugh, you're going to have methods of getting additional laugh up to a maximum of 137 laugh as of current. These methods are fishing. By getting 70 fish, you get 7 extra laugh points, being 10 per fish. Or 10 per, uh... 10 fish per laugh point. There we go. Carts. You're gonna want to get all the trophies. These trophies can be a bit tedious, not gonna lie. Um, they take some time as well to uh, really grind up. And here comes the two bigger ones. So, cog disguises. The thing about cog disguises is Cellbot is a right off the bat thing you can do for five extra laugh points. This being you need to keep grinding Cellbot factories to continue to get merits, to continue to run VPs until you hit the maximum of a level 50 Mr. Hollywood. That's a little bit of a grind, it's a bit painful, um, but in total getting all four suits to level 50 in their respective uh, high tier cog will get you 20 laugh points total. Which is awesome, because that's a huge increase, and it's probably one of my favorite activities in the game, just grinding the suits. Uh, sometimes it can be tedious. There are a lot of times where the intervals for the merits, uh, cog box, you know, jury notices, etc. become a very uh, substantial number, 
and this should be like every 10 uh, in terms of intervals and this will take a little bit to grind because you'll need to grind the higher tiers of offices or uh, vaults or mints and it will just take you a little bit longer especially if you're not with a coordinated group the final two things I said three, but I didn't realize there are actually two. One of which I don't have in my sticker book, which is why I forgot it. Gardening is going to net you a grand total of four extra laugh points, and gardening is something you should do uh, by a daily. So let me just prove my point. When you log off for the day, if you're only doing one tune, um, like myself, uh, you can plant your respective tier of flowers after you've discovered the five per tier of your shovel, and you'll harvest them, and you'll take them over to the wheelbarrow over there. This will owe you a few jelly beans, but the most important part about this is continuing to just stack up the shovel rep. Every time you score two increases on your shovel, that will net you another laugh point. So that's another easy way. And the final way to net laugh points via um, grinding past your Tune task max, which I believe is like 103 or something close to that, is going to be golfing. Now, I do not have it in my sticker book, so I'm not going to bother trying to pull that up. But the thing about golfing is, it is very tedious. It is fun, especially if you have people to do it with. But the grind for some of the trophies that you need are tedious. This will take you a long time if you are not consistently on it. If you have a day where you don't feel like really doing anything, just sit back and do some golfing, whether it be solo or with some friends to complete your trophy, which is 600 multiplayer games. Now that's gonna be your longest goal right there. That'll take you the longest amount of time, but in the end, it'll be worth it as you can score an extra, I believe it is three uh, points of laugh out of uh, golfing. So, number two, what you need to play Toontown Rewritten. This is more of a third party tool and I think a lot of you will use it because it is very useful. Um, but we're gonna switch over here real quick and I will pull up what I am talking about. Hey guys, what I'm going to be talking about is Toontown Rewritten HQ or ToonHQ.org. This link uh, that I'll be posting in the description of this video is a very nice third-party tool that you can use for multiple things. First of all, following, you have the Invasions tab. This Invasions tab, um, as of right now, is very odd because there is a 2.0 invasion going on for the winter event. Uh, but this will show you all active invasions in the game and is relatively accurate. It can also show you past invasions, statistics of the invasions, and uh, yeah, you can also set notifications so if an invasion goes live, it will tell you. If an invasion ends, it will tell you. It'll pop up in your corner here and it'll give you a bit of a heads up. Hey, this invasion has started. Hey, this invasion has ended. So, the second part of Toon HQ, which is my favorite, the most useful thing to me, is going to be the groups. Groups on Toon HQ in the day if you have time during the day or whatever respective time zone you are in is the most useful tool that you can use to find groups to help you with higher end activities. For instance, we have a DA office here. These tunes are tiered up here for a DA office D, which is the highest tier of DA office, and they found themselves randomly do this and they can meet up in Hiccup Hills apparently and they will be able to, you know, play. So, you know, if, uh, say, I were to go to Lawbot HQ in Hiccup Hills at this very moment, I would probably see them there. That or they forgot to remove the group, and that is no longer the case. But, again, groups on TuneHQ.org is one of the most useful tools that I have used so far to help myself on 210 Rewritten. Next part, and these couple others are, um less useful i'm not going to say less useful because they're all very useful tools but less needed there we go so the fishing guide is going to give you an explanation of all the fish all their locations what rods they're uh, able to be fished by or their minimum rod anyway and their value so this will help you in that grind like i was talking about on fishing to continue to get all your fish 
up to the maximum of 70. Some fish will become very tedious to get. I still have not completed all of that on my main tune. Uh, but yeah. And then you can organize it by rod, of course, if that's something you would like to do. Following on, um, just to give a little bit of the, you know, advertising here, they are available via the Tune HQ app, which is available on both iOS and Android. So, you know, if that's something you want to do, feel free. <laughs> Next here, we're going to be looking at the Cold Colors Guild. This is your looking for group tool. So, if, say, you do not have time to run with groups, or maybe there's not a group active at the current time for what you're looking for, you can pop over to uh, so Cold Colors Guild, and there will be set times and set areas where you will be able to go and be able to run a boss of, you know, the sort here, as you can see, with a group of randoms. They have their own rules here, obviously, and they are a very nice, very, you know, coordinated group of individuals. If you get the right people, your runs will go very smoothly. So yeah, that's my little bit of a short advertisement of ToonHQ.org. Again, if you're going to be playing Toontown Rewritten, I'd recommend having this tool open either on your cell phone or in the background on another tab to be able to really utilize the game as it is. Alright guys, moving on to the third tip I have for new uh, Toontown Rewritten players is going to be coming upon the friends tool and utilizing it to be able to help yourself. Make friends in Toontown Rewritten. Do not make enemies. Try and be nice to everybody, okay? This is not only common courtesy, but being nice to people in the community will not only pay you back with having people to be able to help you with activities when there is no one on Toon HQ, you'll be able to run it here. For instance, if I wanted to Let's say I was on a higher tune and wanted to run a VP. I could maybe add a couple of V tunes that are around the area here and ask them, do you want to run a VP? You know, yes or no. If you get a yes, there's one more person to your VP group. And from there, you can just continue adding on, you know, via Tune HQ. It's a very multiplicative way to be able to start groups and start finding friends. If you really want to get into Toontown, especially the end game content, you would love to make friends. My final tip for this guide on Toontown Rewritten is going to be choose wisely. For instance, I am a bit of a nut, okay? I like to plan my things out ahead of time. For instance, Breaking the Sound Barrier, my 39 laugh bear here, will not have tune-up. This is not because I do not like to be a team player, but because I have had a character with tune-up, I have had a character without drop, and now I want to play a character that is a full powerhouse. So, just keep these things in mind when you are starting your tune. There are a couple useful tools in Toontown that you should always have. This isn't to say you can't, um, you know, forfeit this for something else, but it is not recommended. So, as a new tune in Toontown, you should always pick up Lure. Lure is going to be your diversion, your oh crap, I'm in trouble tool, and this will allow you to temporarily stun the cogs to be able to heal yourself via your doodle or unites, or say another player is with you, they can tune you up. And this will be able to combo into traps if you do take trap. If not, it's not that big of a problem. And for new tunes, you should also take sound. Sound is the you are in a group and this will be your main way of clearing a four set cog. And this is also going to be useful in a lot of end game activities such as boss battles as there are a lot of um, combinations you can do such as to fog to um, Auga to be able to clear a set of 11s. Just small things like that are what will really keep you in, you know, in the game and want to be picked 
by other players. Another thing, again, this isn't something that you have to have, but is a big recommendation from me, is going to be Tune-Up. Tune-Up is a good starter track. You can pick it right off the bat in Tune 10 Central if you wish. And this will allow you to heal other tunes you're with, which is very good for, you know, teamwork-based activities and, you know, just having around in general because, you know, oh, I'm in a bit of trouble, let me just heal everybody and allow them to survive a little bit longer to maybe recover from the situation you're in. The final part of this that I really want to um, highlight is going to be the Doodle. The Doodle is a recent uh, addition from Toontown Online that they have added in. And what this allows you to do is in a round, in a battle, you are able to summon the Doodle as a bit of a tool to be able to heal yourself. Now, this isn't 100% of a working, uh, you know, thing. So sometimes your Doodle will forget and it will not actually heal you. But the times that it does, it can be a useful tool to, you know, maybe just add a little bit to that um, tune-up that another tune is doing. This also is a bit of a, you know, a feature that you should have because unlike tune-up, which if you are the one using it, does not heal yourself, a doodle heals all players on the field. So, that is it as far as my Toontown Rewritten Guide goes. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave me some feedback in the uh, comments down below. Uh, thumbs up this video to put it in the recommended for other people so they can kind of get the idea of Toontown and so we can kind of get this game rolling. You know, this is... I love the community of this game. It's a bit toxic at times, but, you know, what is it? Honestly. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like content like this, feel free to check me out on Twitch. I stream weekly. And yeah, so have a fantastic day, guys, and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.